I'm here at St. Stephen's Catholic Church, and today is our third day in the Novena to St. Joseph, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We continue with the texts of the Divine Office for the Feast of St. Joseph, and we come to the second nocturne of Matins. This is the nocturne that belongs then to the hours between midnight and 3 a.m. First, we listened to the scriptures uh, from the book of Genesis on the patriarch Joseph, being, uh, being uh, second only to the king of Egypt, one uh, to whom uh, the Egyptians should uh, bend the knee and they should go to him to receive uh, what they need. And we know, uh, although we didn't read this part, we know that uh, during the famine, that Pharaoh said anyone needing wheat should go to Joseph. And that the God... And we also learned that God would bless the home of the Egyptian for the sake of St. Joseph. So we asked St. Joseph to bless, we asked God to bless our homes for the sake of St. Joseph. We pray this novena with our intentions that we entrust to St. Joseph, that God would bless us for Joseph's sake. If, if Joseph the patriarch would be treated so, uh, with such honor and such veneration, in the Old Testament, how much more would the, uh, would the human father of Jesus be treated? Now, as far as being the human father, he's not the natural father, but he is the legal father, and Jesus is the fruit of the marriage, of the virginal marriage between St. Joseph and the Blessed Virgin Mary. Now, for more on that, you can look to the playlist for the St. Joseph Novena from 2021. And then Avina will go through the theology of St. Joseph and his fatherhood. But for this novena, we're going to stick with uh, these liturgical texts. So we come to the second nocturne now of Matins and the Sermon of St. Bernard of Clairvaux, homily two upon Misus Est. This is lesson four in the second nocturne. Who and what manner of man this blessed Joseph was, you may gather from the title with which, although only as a deputy, he deserved to be honored, so that he was both called and thought to be the Father of God. You may gather it from his very name, which, being interpreted, means increase. At the same time, remember that great man, the former patriarch who was sold into Egypt, and know that Joseph not only inherited the latter's name, but attained to his chastity and equaled his grace and innocence. If then that Joseph sold by fraternal envy and carried into Egypt foreshadowed the selling of Christ, this Joseph, fleeing from the envy of Herod, carried Christ into Egypt. The former, loyal to his master, would have nothing to do with his master's lady. So that's referring to St. Joseph, or that's referring to Joseph the patriarch, who would have nothing to do with the wife of Potiphar, his master, and uh, even though he was framed into that and sent to prison, he would have nothing to do with her. And so the former, Joseph the patriarch, uh, loyal to his master, would have nothing to do with his master's lady. The latter, St. Joseph, recognizing his lady, the mother of his Lord, to be a virgin, and being himself chaste, guarded her faithfully. To the former, Joseph the patriarch, to the former was given discernment to the mysteries of dreams, and to the latter, St. Joseph, it was given to know and to share in the heavenly mysteries. The former, Joseph the patriarch, laid up wheat, not for himself, but for all the people. And the latter, St. Joseph, receiving the living bread from heaven to guard it, for himself and for the whole world. There is no doubt that the Joseph, to whom the mother of the Savior was espoused, was a good and faithful man, a faithful and prudent servant, I say, whom the Lord gave as a consolation to his mother, as the guardian of his own body, and finally as the only and trusty helper upon earth in the great plan of his incarnation. 
there we have the excerpt from the Sermon of St. Bernard, Abbot, uh, from the second nocturne of Matins. Now with that in mind, let us call, let us call to mind, or that having been considered, let us call to mind our intentions for this novena. And again, you can print this out from a link in the description below the, the video here. And if you print it out double-sided with a short-sided binding, or a left-sided, short-sided binding, you can print it out double-sided in 8.5 by 11 and fold it in half. And here you have the front cover, Novena to St. Joseph. And on the back cover, you'll have My Novena Intentions. So you can write them down. Each day, you might add to them. But then you won't forget your intentions from the day before. So you can print that out. And now we're going to call to mind our intentions. And in order to continue then, we'll pray together the whole Novena prayer here. Uh, but in order to do so, I want you to look in the description below this video and click on the link. You'll get a separate video with the Novena prayers. We'll pray them together. And before we say goodbye, join me tomorrow for the fourth day of the Novena right here on this video channel. And don't miss a day of prayer with us.